Namaste friends, this is Shruti Anand. Welcome back to my channel Wardrobe and Fitness. When it comes to health or natural living, we pay a lot of attention to the food we are eating or the kind of exercise that we are doing. In one of my videos, I talked about that it is very important that the kind of utensils we use to cook food. But do you know that there is one more aspect of health that we need to pay attention to? Most of us pay attention in collecting vegetables or fruits from the market. And we have a habit that we purchase this in bulk and store it in our refrigerator. But do you know that this refrigerator is not only harmful for our health, but it is also very harmful for the environment. But the thing is that it has become so common nowadays that we can't imagine living without refrigerator. Refrigerator or fridge is one such object in which sunlight cannot enter. And also air is not able to pass through this. Refrigerator has a temperature very low as compared to the room temperature. And this thing is not done by the nature. It happens by going against the nature. So extra effort is required for this. Certain gases are required to lower down the temperature of the refrigerator. These gases are known as CFC, which is also known as chlorofluorocarbon. Now refrigerator makes use of CFC, which is chlorine, fluorine and carbon dioxide. Everybody knows that when we breathe, we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. But in CFC, carbon dioxide is there and these CFCs are emitted by the refrigerator. So imagine the food which is kept inside the fridge is constantly exposed to carbon dioxide. So imagine if we are going to consume the food which is present inside this refrigerator. You are going to keep this carbon dioxide within you. And this thing is very dangerous for our health. These CFCs are of 12 types from CFC 1, CFC 2 up to CFC 12. 12 types of gases are released all together by the refrigerator. Now whatever you will keep inside the refrigerator, it will come in contact with these gases. Even if we keep the food covered, be it in a steel utensil, still these gases have the power to penetrate through the steel. We all have this common habit that we go out and purchase vegetables and fruits. We purchase them in bulk and we come back and store all this inside our refrigerator thinking that okay we have purchased the food now we have saved a lot of time yes refrigerator does save time it makes our life easy but at what cost we are doing all this secondly another mistake that we all do is that even if we don't store the vegetables and fruits inside the refrigerator we cook the food in bulk and then store it inside the refrigerator so as to save time so that we can consume this food even during the rest of the day or even up to few days which is again not a healthy practice. Maharishi Vagbhat who is a pioneer in Ayurveda says that food after being cooked should be consumed within 48 minutes after which its nutrient content goes really down. So friends imagine if you are going to store the cooked food inside the refrigerator and on top of that consuming it after long hours where our health is going. Before coming to the conclusion of this video, let's go back in the history and talk about when this refrigerator was invented. Well, friends, do you know that this refrigerator was invented in Europe in military for storing the medicines? And after that, this refrigerator came to our kitchen and it became an important part of our household. Health is one aspect. But these CFCs, that is the chlorofluorocarbons, which are present inside this refrigerator, is not only harmful for us, but for the environment too. One of the major reasons for global warming is CFC. Due to global warming, the winter is becoming short and the summer is becoming long. Now comes the question that can we live without this refrigerator? The answer is yes, we certainly can. I'll share my experience with you guys. In my school, environment science subject was very dear to me. And in that, we used to study a lot about CFC and how this is harmful for the environment and what are its sources. And I was surprised to read that the major sources come from our home. 
for example air conditioner or the fridge these are the major sources of cfc around 10 years back my parents saw lectures of rajiv dikshit ji in one of his lectures he had mentioned about the harmful effects of refrigerator it was then that my parents thought that we should stop using refrigerator in our home so initially we stopped using fridge in the winters initially it seemed impossible for me that how we can live without refrigerator but slowly we started storing water in earthenware pots after that we started purchasing vegetables on daily basis or on alternate days and i realized that the fear which was there in my mind that how can we live without refrigerator suddenly vanished after we stopped using this and now it's a reality that we are living without refrigerator from the past 5 years and life seems pretty simple without that too so this was for today guys i hope you liked the today's video if you found this video helpful don't forget to share this with your friends on all social media platforms and yes do let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this i would love to hear from you all and you got to subscribe to my channel wardrobe and fitness subscribe by clicking here this is me shruti signing off i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye bye take care lead a healthy lifestyle